Hi, this is Dr. Farmer. Now let's do an ANOVA. The thing to note about an ANOVA and that distinguishes it from a t-test is a t-test compares two groups. An ANOVA allows you to compare more than two groups, three, four, five, etc. But the other part is the same on a continuous variable. So for an ANOVA, you're going to compare a grouping variable of three groups or more on a continuous variable. For example, I wonder if there's a difference between freshmen, sophomores, and juniors on anxiety levels. Hmm, let's test that hypothesis. To do this, you go to Analyze, Compare Means, One-Way ANOVA. Very simple ANOVA. There, it's also important to know that there are a lot of different ways to do this as in any um, program. So I'm showing you the basic ways to do these things. So if you do it another way, you learned another way, or saw another way, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. It's just the way that I'm doing it. There are a lot of ways to scan a cat in SPSS. So our dependent variable is general anxiety. So we're going to put that up top. And our factor variable or our independent variable is college level, freshmen, sophomore, juniors, or seniors. Here we want to go up and we want to look at not contrast, we want to do post hoc, and let's do least square um, differences, which is the most basic difference, and just for the um, purposes of this study, continue, and we hit OK. This is the output for an independent, for an, um, this is the output for an ANOVA, and what we see here is the F, which is 2.32, the significance 0.08, which is well above 0 0.0, well, not well above, but it's more than 0 0.05, which means that there's no significant difference. I did make one mistake when I performed this, so I'm going to go back really quickly, compare means, ANOVA, and you get the same output. But on options, I need to put descriptives. What descriptives does is it gives you the means for each group. I apologize for that mistake. We'll hit continue. OK. And now you see this, this box here has been added. So it tells us what the mean of freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors were on the measure of general anxiety. And we see the seniors had lower anxiety at 35 then juniors who had 40, sophomores who had 48, and freshmen who had 46. So it looks like the younger you are, the more anxiety you have, except for the freshmen who started, who have a, you know, a little lower, a little lower than sophomores. But none of that matters because when we look down here, there's no significant difference between um, these four groups on measures of anxiety. I hope this has been helpful. I will see you soon.